You're watching the Oak Mountain ACOTS on YouTube. All right, guys, well, today's the day. We've got to get this old International B414 ready to go to the woods. Now, I've been holding off uh, for most of the month of May because the woods were pretty wet here and I didn't want to rut up my woods roads. But uh, today is the day. We've got to get her going because we're losing out on productivity in the woods. Stick around. All right, guys, the first two jobs are easy ones. One is to use the uh, fuel indicator and see how much gas was left in this thing after we put it away. Well, would you look at that? About five inches and uh, close to half a tank. So that's going to do the trick for us. Okay guys, the second job that we need to do is check the engine oil. And there we go. Nice golden color and uh, at the max level. That's going to do us for another year. I'm two for two. Okay, the next thing that we need to do, and uh, this is a patented trick that uh, Dad taught me, is we have to go after these two oil drain plugs, and we're gonna back them off and let the water run out of the machine. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but he's done it every year for about 30 years, and it seems to work, so. I don't know what happens if you screw too far. Okay, that looks like the end of the water, so we can go ahead and screw these back in. We're gonna be good for another year. Now, what do all you uh, mechanics think about this? Is this the right thing to be doing? Or, uh, or are you very displeased right now? I'd like to know. I know it's probably good to drop the oil in these machines every year and replace it, but for what we're doing with this old girl, I think it's a waste of money, to be honest with you. Dead as a doornail. All right, that's the next job. Now raising the hood on this old girl is a treat. I say it's a finger jamming good time. So come on around, Karen. And uh, the first thing we've got to do is get this push guard off of here. There's one, now we'll try the other side. This job is best done with a buddy. But my buddy's not here. There she is. So I was in here last year and I did some work around the compartment that holds the battery in because it was oversized for, for what's in here. And the uh, battery terminals are not very long. You don't have a lot to work with, but uh, it got us through last year, but I've got an old boat battery uh, in the building and it turned my test light on. So I think I'm gonna try and put it in here and see if it'll fit. And if it does, maybe, uh, maybe it'll do a good job for us. Okay, give her a shot. Hey guys, sorry for the wind, but this is what I mean when I talk about an increase in production. This old 414 is capable of winching in a lot of wood in a hurry, 
and I'm not even using it to its full capacity. But using it the way I am, it's gonna last forever. Okay guys, did I ever mention that she's an oldie but a goodie? This tractor works really well for the age, I gotta tell you. Anyway, um, if you like this video and you wanna see more, maybe you should check out this one here where I make $300 every weekend. See you in the next one.